Peterson with Mile Point TV, and guess what? Today we're here, Hyatt Center, interviewing the big wigs with Hyatt because they're going to tell us what they're doing with the Mega Do. Yes, the Mega Do 4 is coming right up, and we're going upstairs. You I just love talking about Hyatt Gold Passport, but today actually we're going to talk about the Mega Do. Um, what were you thinking when you got involved in the Mega Do? Did you realize what you were getting into? I don't think we uh, realized the extent of it, but I think it's turned out to be more than we would have ever hoped for. I think you have uh, harnessed the power and the passion of a, a group of uh, you know exuberant, frequent, frequent travelers, and uh, I don't think there's any more any hotel company that's more passionate about um, hospitality than Hyatt is. So I think it's a, a great way to connect with a great group of audience, and we enjoy. Uh, being with them and we enjoy hearing their ideas and their complaints and their concerns and how we make a better product at the end of the day So it, it's a good way just to have fun and, and be connected to uh, a great group of people um, That like to experience uh, Travel in every way shape and form uh, the mega do seems to bring out Enthusiastic travelers out there. Do you find they're not your normal traveler? I think it's hard to define the normal traveler. I mean uh, a company like ours that has brands in every piece of the spectrum, there is no normal traveler. You have uh, leisure travelers, you have business travelers, you have frequent travelers, you have infrequent travelers. And I love to spend time with people that are on the fringe that, you know, travel, you know, more often than, than most. And sometimes they have the best ideas and, and the best thoughts. And if we can ultimately serve their needs and develop products that fit their lifestyle, then that'll probably help us design products for, for others as well. So it's, it's a great group of people to, uh, to stay connected to and, and sort of better understand uh, their wants and needs. Well, you've uh, certainly over delivered because from the buzz out there, it's like Hyatt Diamond is a must have in your wallet these days for frequent travelers. How did that come about? Well, I think we've always had a, a passionate, uh, a passionate appreciation for that real travel enthusiast um, that is on the road, uh, you know, 50 or more nights a year. And so we've really, for the past couple of years, focused on that diamond level and tried to create uh, a product that was above and beyond what anybody else had in the marketplace. Things like, you know, confirmed suite upgrades and, and complimentary uh, full breakfast in, in hotels that don't have a, a club. So I think those are the type of little things that can mean a lot to a very frequent traveler. And, and those are things that um, took us above and beyond where some of our competitors were. So we, we always want to maintain that top tier that is aspirational, that delivers um, more than what you might get um, with any other hotel company. And, and hopefully we've gotten to that position and, and we'll maintain that position in the future. Well, you know, the Mega Do and Hyatt share something in common. And uh, it's really been a plus for both organizations, and that is giving back to others. Megadoo has raised a ton of money to help charities and, and help other people. And uh, last couple of Megadoo's, uh, Hyatt has stepped up with supporting your charity, Hands On Education. Right. I think what uh, the last go around is almost $30,000 was contributed towards that from the Megadoo, and this year it looks like even more. Well, we have a, a real social agenda um, at the company globally and uh, we feel that we have a responsibility to pay back to the community because though those are where our employees live uh, that's where many of our customers live and in those um, you know cities where we where we have hotels and we operate and it's important that we develop a relationship and, and give back to those communities and that's how you create a, a thriving um, group of uh, employees and a, thr a thriving group of customers and it's it's always been uh, at the top of our agenda e everywhere we go and we really spend a lot of time thinking about how to integrate that in, into everything we do and that's why I think the the mega do um, and and Hyatt fits so well together because it's, it's not just about travel for travel's sake but travel for a greater purpose and we can really appreciate that and we appreciate that you've put that at the top of, of your agenda and then it helps us make it a priority as well. Yeah, you know, uh, I think through this is now the third mega do that Hyatt's uh, involved with, and each one has a special little memory. And uh, my particular 
uh, little memory going into this current Megadoo is uh, at the launch party recently in uh, Washington, D.C. No sooner than the itinerary was announced that the laptops came out, mm -hmm. the mobile phone came out, and everybody was booking awards for Zurich. The park at Zurich were w one of the first destinations of the Megadoo, and these people are on Hyatt right away. Do you have a, a, a little memory of your participation in the Megadoos that kind of stands out so far? Uh, I, I love giving the presentation for the, the past few that I've been to and, and presenting to that group of 200 or, or 300 people, I think it's a great platform to get uh, our message out because oftentimes uh, you don't know all the intricacies of, of what we're doing and this is a very receptive audience. So I gave a presentation in Denver a year or two ago and gave a presentation in Dallas a, a year or so ago and I really like to have fun with it and make sure it's uh, engaging and um, gets the audience uh, a little bit riled up. And if I had to like make one pick out one moment. I, I loved when um, that couple got engaged on one of the uh, Megadoo flights and we recognized them and yeah. gave them some, some bonus points yep. for their honeymoon. I've stayed in touch with them and I think they're actually on their honeymoon now and it's, a, it's like a six month journey and many of their hotels are actually Hyatt's on their honeymoon. Yeah. So that's kind of a a special memory out of Megadoo. One of the things I hear is that, you know, uh, typically the Hyatt guest is a road warrior. They always see the rooms as they're all done. You know, the hotel's built and everything like that. I hear there might be a little surprise for some Megadoers to actually go behind the scenes and find out how hotel rooms are actually built. Uh, can you talk about that? Is that too secret? No, I'd, we'd be glad to talk about that. Um, one of the big initiatives that we're undertaking across the company is all focused on making sure we're doing a lot of listening to our customers. Uh, we believe that so often it's easy to get wrapped up in your day-to-day -day work and forget about what the customer's needs and wants are. So we're trying to really root ourselves in, in empathetic listening and taking our feedback very seriously. So um, rather than just roll out room types that we think are good, we are actually mocking up rooms and taking customers through them and making changes uh, based on their feedback. So we're going to work with the Megadoo to give a behind the scenes view of our mocked up rooms, actually you know, get their feedback real time and take that into account as we evolve the room. And uh, rooms may seem like a very static thing, but it's always evolving as, as cultures change and as we uh, expand globally. Um, how a room is set up, where different things are, how big or how small. Um, there are a lot of nuances to, to doing that and so we have learned to prototype very quickly and, and change things uh, to make sure we're meeting uh, customers' needs and I think that's a, a real great asset that we have moving hmm. forward and we'd like to, like to uh, take you through that process. It seems like as a segue, food is a big part of Hyatt, and as the Mega Do arrives at the Park Hyatt Zurich, you've got maybe something kind of planned that eh, is a little bit like the Aspen Food and Wine Festival, if you will, for uh, Mega Doers. That's right. Food and beverage has always been a big part of our DNA, and it's really uh, very, very important to us. And one of the programs that we have is a, is called Masters of Food and Wine really associated with our Park Hyatt brand. And it's a way that we can bring an experience, something above and beyond just the hotel, mm -hmm. to our customers. So we'll do different things in different cities. Uh, much of it is focused on locally sourced, um, you know, kind of this farm to market uh, concept and give um, customers an experience associated with the hotel that's rooted in food and beverage that's b above and beyond just the stay experience because we believe that the hotel experience isn't just about spending the night, it's, it's, yeah. it can be so much more. And that's why I think food and beverage is such a fun, interesting uh, aspect. And the whole culinary uh, perspective is, is very, very important to us. And this is a way, this, the Masters of Food and Wine is a, is a way that we can instill that back in um, to the customer experience. Mm. Sounds like something worth making a reservation for, if nothing else. Good food, good wine, good places at Hyatt. Thank you, Jeff. This has been an interesting journey, if you will, through Hyatt's participation in the Megadoo, and look forward to seeing you on board and in the hotels. Thank you, Randy. We appreciate it.